What's up everyone? I recorded this video on Thursday, January 27th, 2022. It's 3.30 in the afternoon and it's 33 degrees Fahrenheit, 1 degrees Celsius. I'm here in Journal Square, a business district in Jersey City, New Jersey, at the intersection of Broadway and Tonnelly Avenue. And I'll be exploring this part of Jersey City today. The name Journal Square comes from the Jersey Journal, whose headquarters was in this area from 1911 to 2013. And the square itself is at the intersection of Kennedy Boulevard and Bergen Avenue. There's, al there's also a large uh, Indian community here along Newark Avenue, which I'll also show you. But right now I'm going to be uh, walking down to the square itself. This street, Tonnelly Avenue, goes uh, up and down the northern part of New Jersey. And this uh, avenue ends at Journal Square, Tonnelly. I'm uh, in about four blocks or so. It'll be the end of Tonnelly Avenue. But this street pretty much goes all the way up to uh, Fairview, New Jersey. Seems like this section of uh, the square is very residential. The downtown, the waterfront, and Liberty State Park is to the right, according to the sign. Jersey City is right across the river from New York City's borough of Manhattan. And it's expanding rather quickly. Guess you could stay at a hotel here if you want. The Ramada. So I'm also reading that uh, prior to this being a commercial district, it was the site of many farmhouses and manors descending from the original settlers of Bergen. That was the first chartered municipality in the state. And the railroad came here, the Hudson and Manhattan Railroad on the Summit Avenue station, which spurred a lot of development in the area. There's also a big transportation hub here now that the railroad, um, I mentioned it. There's multiple bus lines here. There's also the uh, PATH train, which connects directly to New York City.
Here's Kennedy Boulevard, major street in this area of New Jersey. This is also where I'll be turning left on. Tonley Avenue only goes down two more blocks that way. This is pretty much the busiest area of Journal Square. New York halal food, chicken, and burgers. I'm getting hungry just smelling all the food. I don't think I've ever walked in this section of Journal Square before. I've been through the, uh, the Indian section on Newark Avenue and around the PATH train, but not over here. This is the actual square, Kennedy Boulevard and Bergen uh, Avenue. There's a lot of clothing stores along this street. This place used to be a lot less closeouts, but now this entire store is up for rent. McDonald's. Actual square is here. Jersey Journal in the background. Let's take a walk down that way and check it out. People honk for no reason when they can't get to the intersection.
Here's the Jersey Journal building, after which the square is named. Hudson County Community College. And they also uh, erected the sign here, nice. They need to use the Statue of Liberty in the, uh, the sign there. The PATH train station is over here. Stands for Port Authority Trans Hudson. And it connects directly to New York City and Newark, New Jersey. That's a movie theater, the Lowe's movie theater. I guess this is a uh, a bike locker. I was looking at it, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> this isn't a whiskey place. I wonder if it's free to use for path riders. Oh, onipod.com, you need to sign up and then you can secure your bike inside. Here's the transportation center. Emma's restaurant. <laughs> Complicated streets across. This says Stanley, but it's actually a assembly hall for Jehovah's Witnesses.
There's a pizza place. Newark Avenue is right up there. To me, this part of Newark Avenue is the most interesting part of Journal Square, just due to the large concentration of Indian businesses. a nice looking clock tower up there. And here we are. Newark Avenue. Apna Bazaar Cash and Carry. I can smell all the herbs and spices from out here. Oh, that's a nice looking tiger for the mural. Curry On, it's a fun name for a restaurant. Authentic Indian cuisine, biryani darbar. Deccan Spice takes two storefronts. 2012 Best Indian Restaurant. That looks good. Halal market, they also have uh, prepared food too, you can buy. Vegetarian catering at Dosa Hut. And the Patel Brothers grocery store across the street.
Halal station with a lot of deliveries now. Oh, that's a cool uh, building back there. And that's free parking for the Curry On restaurant. Actually, it looks like they have all the businesses there that they have parking for. Patel Video, Curry On, so not just that one restaurant. Meet Us restaurant. Let's look at the menu here. It's a little bit glaring, so you can't really see it too well. Contemporary Indian cuisine. And there's exquisite Indian cuisine two doors away. And a temple. Govinda Temple. I think this shuttle bus here takes you back to the uh, to the Newport Mall area. Biryani pot. And another restaurant. South Indian cuisine here at Masala Cafe. And here I am back to Tonley Avenue where I started this video at Newark Avenue and where I'll be ending it. If you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Journal Square area of Jersey City, then smash the like button for me, subscribe for some more videos like these, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone, see you later.